I'm Yoav Potash, and this is my wife, Shira Potash, and we're a, a filmmaking team. For one week, we will both attempt to eat a healthy, well-balanced diet on roughly $1 per meal. Dollar and 19 cents per meal, <laughs> so per person. So for the two of us, that was close to $50. To make healthy meals at that price is not easy. It's a, it's a real stretch, a real balancing act. It's possible, but there's a lot of barriers to eating healthy on that kind of a budget. I'm a nutrition educator, and I work in low-income schools where I teach kids how to cook. And I'm teaching them how to cook healthy food. But it occurred to me, you know, can the families even afford to make the kinds of food we're teaching them in class? So that was the inspiration for us to take the food stamp challenge. Oh, that smell good. Mm -hmm. Going shopping for the week was a, a challenge for us. We were, we had to bicker about whether or not we could have coffee, you know, whether or not we could have cheese. And looking at these things that we tend to think of as daily staples suddenly it became luxuries. Even with all of our planning, rationing, our access to healthy food choices and my nutrition know-how, we still came out short. I'm not stopped. We hadn't even considered the possibility that we weren't getting enough calories. I, I think the film does reveal a number of contradictions when you look at the big picture of food policy in America today. If we're subsidizing only a few crops that tend to get made into junk food, and then we're subsidizing people to be able to put food on their plate, but only in a small amount, so they have to really stretch every dollar, they naturally gravitate towards those cheapest foods and end up with obesity problems. And that's exactly what we're seeing in America today. And on top of that, then the government also is subsidizing the health care. There's an opportunity for the government to shift the subsidies, to shift it so that Maybe fruits and vegetables are given more farm subsidies. They get a little, and they got more in the last cycle of the farm bill when it was reauthorized in 2008. But it still is so small compared to the large, you know, billions of dollars that are given to corn, soy, wheat farmers. When we started making this film, we wanted to put a statistic in the film about how many people are on food stamps. So we said, well, one in ten Americans are on food stamps. And then we're editing and shooting, and then, you know, we say, oh, we have to change it. It's one in nine now. So we change the graphic, we change it. You know, then it's one in eight. Now I think we're nearing one in seven. So as over the course of the couple of years it took to produce this film and edit it, we've seen the problem become exacerbated. Some of what we depict in the film, like community gardens, that's a real bottom-up type of solution. Others, like changing the farm bill, is very top-down, and we need people like the president involved in that kind of uh, approach. So it can't happen only from one side or only from the other. It really takes a comprehensive look. Mm, that's good.